Yo, dog. Peace out, my homie. I, I'm cool. I'm intense. I'm extreme. Because if you're not, you're weak. Peace. Okay. Okay, enough of that terrible face. That, yeah, I would say is ended. But then I've seen YouTube. We're reviewing Triple X State of the Union starring Ice Cube with Samuel Jackson and William Defoe. Uh-huh. And I do want to say, in this movie, William Defoe, in my opinion, kind of looks like and sounds like Dennis Leary during his mid-90s. But something I want to get into, I usually don't talk about directors and writers. Um, I usually put that as a note in the credits, but I'm going to do it right now. The director is Lee Tamahori. I'm hoping I'm saying his name, I'm saying his name right. Uh... If you don't know him, he's the guy who who uh, made Pierce Brosnan cry and destroyed his future for, f for further Bond movies with 2002's Die Another Day. He then made this, but then he sandwiched it with another very mediocre action movie, Next, starring Nicolas Cage. And while I do like the first about four or five minutes of next, it, that doesn't mean I have. That doesn't mean I like the entire movie. Okay. And <laughs> and the writer is Simon Kinberg. Are you ready to hear what he has done? Are you ready to hear what Simon Kinberg? I guess if you're ready to tell us. Well, this was his first movie apparently, and he has since followed it up with Jumper. Okay. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Um and Josh Trank's Fantastic Four. Okay. So can we get to the movie? Have you told them what we watched yet or no? We're yeah, I think I said we saw Triple X two State of the State of the Union and for my international viewer, Triple X the next level. Okay. Uh, this movie has Ice Cube as the yeah. new Triple X. Yeah. Because uh, each movie has to have a different Triple X. That seemed to have been the idea. Um, this movie, I, kn I feel like it kind of took some things from other movies. Like... There were chunks of the movie where it was like where it was in a mechanic shop and all I could think of was Fast and the Furious. Okay. Which was around during this time. And I understand that this movie came out before uh Suicide Squad, but it kind of reminded me a little bit of Suicide Squad because they had to, because they picked someone in prison and then they bailed him out and never to deal with the bad guy. Right. And the bad guy that he had broken his jaw before, William Defoe, um, Secretary of Defense. Yeah, basically involves Ice Cube as a stunt guy. Well, he was very fit. In well, this. <laughs> quote unquote as a stunt guy because when they were talking about, hey, you know, Triple X, he he did a bunch of stunts, he did a bunch of jumping and stuff, and he's like. I don't do stunts. I don't do dangerous things. It's like, why did they pick him? I don't know. Your your code name is Triple X. It isn't easy, Street. But yet he only got an hour a day of outside activity. So why and did he they? He was in so sh so good shape. So why did they hire him? <coughs> because he was mean and he had a past. Yeah, he still uh. <coughs> I can't say he still is, but uh, he reminded me of his character from 21 and 22 Jump Street mm. as that angry dude, which he tends to play a lot. He tends to play like a, all right, dang, get over here. Um. Well, when they broke him out, he said he wanted to run the show. He mm -hmm. didn't report to Samuel L. Jackson or the other guy. Samuel L. Jackson, um, I believe, reprising his role as uh, his character from the first Triple X. Yeah, didn't his name start with the B or something? I don't know. 
Well, now I can't add well, music Ice to the credits. Well, was Darius Stone. Yeah. And... William Defoe, Secretary of Defense. George Deckert. That was William Defoe. Let's move on. Okay. Um, Ice Cube, he has a, a... I think they tried to make this a catchphrase because they said it twice. He said, I want a, I want some fries and a shake. Yeah. They, he said that <laughs> twice. <coughs> it was supposed to be one of those jokes where it's like, oh, he's gonna talk about, you know, he... <coughs> he's gonna talk about, ooh, he wants a... He wants a lady, or, yeah, he he wants some company, if you know what I mean, because I probably he have just kids. just got out of prison, and what every man wants when he gets out of prison. He a wanted cheeseburger. Cheeseburger, fries, and a shake. Okay. And then he wanted another, he wanted another thing of fries and a shake. Yep. And then they had the nerve, and then they had the nerve to repeat that later. When he was with a, uh... Double agent? Yep. Yeah. Which uh, she set him up. Do you know her name? No. All I remember is what Samuel Jackson said. Should have killed that lady. I feel bad saying this, but all I know about her is that she was a uh, attractive blonde girl. Attractive blonde girl that she said she was a I know. senator's daughter. I, and she was a senator aide and whatever. Ladies, <coughs> I know you're more than just hair and attractiveness. I know that. I'm so sorry. Anyway, anyway <coughs> Ice Cube as Darius Stone and... Um, Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson and, and the then, other guy. Yeah, there's this third guy that... What does he? What they find out? Who does he keep calling him? He calls him something. I can't remember. I don't know. But what they are trying to do? Like schoolboy or something, or probably something like that. So what they're trying to do is once they find out the plan, they want to save the U.S. government or the president. Yeah. Because William Defoe wants to frame Samuel L. Jackson's character, Bennett, was his last name? What, was that it or something? I didn't know his first name. I asked you earlier. Okay. And then um, they wanted to frame him as um, killing the president. But then what they end up doing is they get on the presidential bullet train, which I didn't know that he had one. And so then it becomes live action with a helicopter and a car that it runs on the train, the rails, and then there off was the tires. And then there was the moment that you were like, "Okay, I don't believe this." Yeah, most of the movie. I no, no, no. It. Do you remember the first one? Because I wrote, because I wrote it down. What? It was the one with the speedboat. Oh. He he uses <laughs> he uses a ramp. Ah. To jump a speedboat. No, to jump a bridge. No, to land. It lands on the bridge. On the bridge. And then it causes like a collision or something. And yep. then one of the cars gets caught on fire and then has to go into the river. It doesn't have to go. It kind of gets <laughs> blown up <coughs> into the river. There was something before that that I also thought was interesting. Um, it's not necessarily major to the plot. But he says like, I'll take you to the safest place in the world. I'll take you to the safest, safest place. place in D.C. And it's like kind of a... It's a chop shop. No, no, I was talking about the... I was talking about the surrounding the area. The like? I, yeah, it's the ghetto. But they took him to the chop shop. Like and the... And he was like, looking no, for No, no, do you remember the thing that you... That was, that was hilarious that you laughed at? What? It was the guy who... Turned his guy. turned his car into a house. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, people live in cardboard boxes and everything else. But this guy, he must have ran out of gas on this grassy lot. Yeah. And it was like, uh, was it a car or a van? And he had the doors open, and he and, had. And when we say, <laughs> and when we say he's living in his car, we're making it seem like, oh, he's just like. 
Like, it's just temporary. It's like, no, no. he has, like, an awning over yeah. it. The car was like a um, RV. Yeah. So. And then he was looking for Lo, and I didn't know Lo was a female. And they said, oh, she went uptown. So then they went uptown to see Lo, and he just needed a place to hang and sleep. Was that the name of the blonde girl? No. Lo okay. was the, the lady in the high class child. Oh, oh, okay, her. Oh, and uh, what did you think of Exhibit? I don't know who was Exhibit. He was the uh, rapper character. He was the rapper. Which rapper? He was the African American guy. <laughs> really? I will. Th this movie, you know, similar to Fast and Furious, that does have a multiracial cast, and it doesn't bring attention to it, which is cool. Is there anything else you want to say, or well, can I can I bring up the uh, five or so points that I want to mention? Well, just a second. What I thought was kind of funny is um, before that girl framed him, um, she got him out of there. The blonde girl, the senator. Oh yeah, she like shot. Aide. She shot somebody and made it look like he did it. Right, um, because he picked up the gun, but before he got there. Um, they noticed that he was at that champagne party. Yeah, he was undercover as like a waiter. And the one guy said, we're looking for a black guy in a white tux. And the one lady... Oh, yeah! The that was hilarious. to the kitchen, and all the wait staff... <laughs> Three-fourths of them were black with the white tuxes. So they couldn't find him, and he got away... <coughs> Mm -hmm. That's when she told him to take a shower, get cleaned up, and then she framed him. Yeah, that was pretty funny. And again, that's the other point where he said, like, can I have fries and a milkshake? Yeah. And that's... He, was, he was heating up banquet frozen dinners and, yeah. and everything. So he was using it as a, um, for their heat thingy. Their heat x-ray whatever thing. Are there any other parts you want to bring up? Like the tank? Which one? The army tank. Oh. How he got in the army tank on the ship? Aircraft carrier? No, when he was like going over cars. Oh! When they jacked... <laughs> they hijacked a tank. They put which in... is... Which is... Uh, which we don't recommend, but it has happened before. Yeah, they actually jacked it up. Yeah. Um, like you're changing a tire. And then they they got the two guys out of there. And then, yeah, they were driving the tank towards the White House. Or or was it the White House or what was it? The Congress House of... House of Representatives? Yeah, because the president was making a speech. So he doesn't make it at the White House. He does make it at one of the other houses. He does it, but then they cut his power, and so he gets escorted. Yeah. <coughs> so anyway, what were your points? Um, I wrote down some of the funny lines that I liked. Uh, please, may I borrow your binoculars before I kick your teeth in? Yeah. <laughs> and then the white guy was like, now that's a start. <laughs> Because he wanted him to be, say, please and be a team member yeah. or team player. Ice Cube is one of those people. He's able to get off, like, really dry lines. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, you said you had five. What do you got else? Uh, there will... The, uh... I hate to sound racist, but the white guy whose name we don't know... We, we can't remember. Sorry, guys. He was like... You want me to do all this computer hacking? It's more than like NASA, the IRS, and Congress combined. You want me to do all this computer hacking? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hold my chips. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes and does it, and then he gets it. Are you going to talk about the cheese in the semi-truck? You can bring it up if you want. Okay, go on. What else do you got? No, go ahead. Bring it up. Okay. 
So then this white guy, he seems to know everything that's going on from the NSA and the government and military and everything. And they were saying that they needed firepower. And he's like, oh, they just shipped that across the United States in, in unmarked trucks. So they used two ladies, two attractive ladies, to stop the semi-truck. And the, the truck drivers, they thought that they were just hauling cheese yeah. for the government. And it turned out to have a secret compartment that was all of guns. They were like, oh boy. <laughs> You were paying us to just do cheese? <coughs> but it was funny. He said, I'm going to put off a fight. And then they shoved a gun in his face. Okay, the keys are in the truck. The brakes stick a little. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, man. <laughs> um, Kay is not very familiar, but I am. From, but I do know that Ice Cube was in a band called N.W.A. And he, Ice Cube, he does this line. It's like, uh, what did he say? He said, like, screw the police or, for, or to heck with the police. He said something like that. But I was like, why didn't you say F the police? Oh, is that in one of his songs? Yeah, that was like one of his main songs. Okay. In uh, Public, Public Enemy? No, not Public Enemy. Uh, and But yeah, NWA. I'm sorry. Um, another thing was, uh, there, there's something about, like, tonight there's going to be a bunch of hustlers and thieves. Why should tonight be any different? <laughs> <laughs> yep. And. Because they were going in the back alleyway and they, they knew, they were told that there were going to be tanks waiting for them or whatever, but they're like. Yeah, but they're on the main streets. We're going to go this way, back alley, through this building, warehouse, whatever. So, and they did. I'm just And there was oh, one sorry. tank, but that's the tank that they hijacked. If they... I'm just curious. If they did... I've, I have another line, but I'll... That's going to... I'll do that as a closing. Uh, if, for, if they did continue this trend of having different triple X's, who do you think they would have picked? For the next one? Yeah. Because the first one, they got Vin <coughs> Diesel, you know, kind of like a, a, a bald biracial guy. Second one, they got Ice Cube, an African American. What about The Rock? <laughs> I don't know who they would pick. I was going to say they should maybe do Triple X for, as a woman. It would be like maybe Atomic Blonde or Lucy. Then. Mm, maybe. Well, they said or, uh, that they'd have to go more extreme. Are there any other female action movies that have come out lately besides those? Wonder Woman, yeah. Well, uh, well, yeah, I guess. I don't think she's tough enough. She said it, I didn't, and I didn't pay her to say it. Anyway, so... So, would you... Re so... Well, we didn't say that he does end up saving the president. Yeah, well, you know that's kind of a given. And then the president does give the one gentleman from the um, from the FBI or NSA or wherever he's from that does join sides with Stone and with Samuel L. Jackson. They gave him a purple heart or something or medal of honor or whatever. And then the president said, and for the unknown soldier, which we know was Stone, this medal is for him. So... But they did save the president, so it, it it was a lot of action once you think about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they were trying to compete with other mo movies or whatever... Uh, it, there was more action in this than Last Airbender. Yeah. <laughs> not, not a difficult task. True. So, yeah, I would recommend it. It was totally different than what I thought it was going to be. I'd recommend it, too. Ice Cube is pretty funny. He gives off some good lines. Uh, Samuel Jackson um, is really more of like a side character. He's not like a main character. Um, and there's a huge chunk of the movie where he just vanishes. Well, you think he's blown or, up in the house. Or he's, he's, he's just not in the movie a whole lot. It revolves around Ice Cube and... Um, and the white guy and, and, and Lowe. And occasionally like some other <clears throat> people. 
I, but yeah, I would recommend the movie too. It's uh, it's not a bad movie. I don't movie. think I would. Pay, I don't know if I would pay for it unless you really like Ice Cube and you like the action. I would say you know, he either had a great stunt double or he was in good shape. <laughs> this would probably air on TNT like nineteen times an hour. So <laughs> an hour it was more than an hour long. Yeah, it was about an hour and forty minutes. So it's a quick set. So yeah, I would recommend this movie. Um, tune in next time where, you know what, Kay? What? I think we should celebrate our independence. All right. Fireworks and everything. So, until next time, I'm Coaster Cat, a.k.a. Roller Coaster Writer. And I'm Kay, and we'll catch you later. But I have one last question. What? Are you ready to crunk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye.